What is up everybody? So this week was kind of a, a strange one for me. So I went ahead and I quoted out a job. Um, the people came back and said that uh, they're kind of on a tight budget because they're building a first robotics um, robot. So what that is, is a bunch of high schoolers, they, they build robots and they take them to competitions, um, try and perform a specific task with it. Uh, so it's pretty cool. These, these you know, teenagers and, and I hate to call them kids because in some ways I feel like they're more mature than I am, but so these guys are doing, you know, CAD work. They're, they're designing how uh, all the electronics are going to work and play, figuring out how to control everything electronically. So it's really cool what they're doing. They're doing a lot more than I was ever doing at that age. Let's, I don't even want to get into the things I was doing when I was in high school. So um, I went ahead and agreed to go ahead and make them uh, some motor mounts for them. So I'll show you those here. These are halfway done. I did the top half. Um, so I think the idea is that two motors are going to mount side by side and then they can couple them together um, with, you know, gearing or belts or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Or I don't know, maybe they're putting two wheels side by side, but whatever. Um, the idea here is that two motors are going to mount side by side. And this is their first year that they're reaching out and actually trying to make custom parts instead of the parts that just come in the kits. So I think that's pretty awesome. The idea that these kids are in high school and they are doing stuff that I didn't even see until college with, uh, I think I saw some screenshots and they had SolidWorks going on. And, you know, that, that's pretty awesome to me. And just the idea that they even, um, you know, are, are reaching out to, to people to try and have things custom made, I, I think it's great. Um, another thing that, and it's kind of what really made me decide to help these guys out, is that going to their website, they've actually got a part where they talk about over the summer how they went and um, showed off their robot to younger kids and kind of passed it forward a little bit to the next, I don't even want to say generation, just kids you know, a few years younger than them to get them interested in the same thing. So I think that's really good to, uh, to be you know, keeping kids interested and, and if you have a chance to be you know, even getting younger kids interested into it. So. So I'm happy and I'm excited to be able to make these for them and uh, you know, help them out. So I tried to go ahead and just get a little bit of machining video for you. This is literally holding my, my DSLR, um, trying to keep it out of harm's way. All right, I thought I'd show you what they look like coming off of the mill with OP2. So here it is. Here's one that just finished OP2, just sitting on the mill still. So you can see it just barely sits above there, or above the height of the vise. And over here we've got, this was the first one that's kind of a screw up, and then we got these two that have already done op two, so they're quite a bit smaller. And then we've got two more to go over here. So I'll just set these next to each other so you can kind of see the height difference and everything. So pretty much, half the material, half the thickness of this material is just getting cut away. It was just used to hold it in the first op. So yeah, it's half inch thick to start with and it's quarter inch thick when we're done. So, so that is about it for this project. I got all five of them knocked out, uh, op one and op two on both of them. So I'm just really happy and um, honored to be able to help out the, this team of aspiring uh, scientists and engineers. So I think that's a really cool program, something that's really cool to be involved in. Uh, it's kind of part of why I got into this is just to be able to make these small prototype parts for people and have them be able to see their creations um, turn into an actual tangible object. So I think it's really cool and it's really awesome that they're doing this all the way down at the high school level now. So, so that's totally awesome. Um, sorry I didn't get more video of actually making the parts. I'm working on a case that will not be destroyed by the coolant for my GoPro. So that should be up and running here pretty quickly. And of course, I'll make videos of, of kind of designing and making that. So until next time, see you later.